hi everyone welcome to our channel so this is dotnet 7 blazor web assembly jwt authentication series okay and it is part 7 video on implementing login redirection in blazor web assembly app okay here is our blazor web assembly application we haven't logged in yet but previously on login okay let me go to login component and we are redirecting to fetch data page okay so fetch data is our secured page means here we are going to call a api call that requires our jwt token that means secured page okay so now I haven't logged in, right? So if I try to access fetch data page, see, I am able to go to fetch data page. Anyway, uh, here I am getting error. Uh, that is because I am getting API response as 401 because of there is no uh, valid JWT token okay but uh, we should not allow users to go to the uh, secured pages if user is not authenticated okay so to do that first what we have to do means we have to add one attribute here that is like at the rate attribute authorize okay so let's import the namespace so this is one of the way to enable the authorization for a blazor component okay so only authorized means authenticated users only access this page now in app.razor instead of route view we have to use a component like authorized route view component okay so here authorize route view component okay and copy this entire thing uh, these attributes here and add it here okay these are like route data and the template what template to load those things so now I can remove this route view because I want to use authorized route view. Okay. So let's save and check now what happens. Okay. See here it is showing a default message like not authorized. That is because I have enabled the authorized attribute on my page and also. Uh, added the authorized route view component, but it is still on the fetch data component only. But content is rendering as not authorized. Okay, instead of that, whenever user is not authenticated and trying to access a uh, authorized page, then it is better to redirect the user to login page. Okay. So for that, let me create a new component. Okay. So in the shared folder, uh, let me create a new pleasure component. So I will name it like redirect to login. Here. I will have a code for redirection. So here let me inject the navigation service. Okay. So navigation manager underscore navigation manage. Okay. And here let's override our one of the lifecycle method on initialized.
okay here i can write navigation that is like navigation dot navigate to login page okay so this is the simple component only a uh, redirection logic and there won't be any route for this component okay now what i can do i go to app razor component here i can add one more child component like not authorized okay now inside of this not authorized component we have to check whether the user is logged in or not because authorization means user have the access or not that doesn't represent user is not authenticated okay here we can add roles also authorization here like you can add a role value so particular role user having some role like admin so only admin can access this a uh, page okay like that authorization means means user is already authenticated but doesn't have a role to access the page so it will restrict the users authenticated and non authenticated also based on admin so that is the reason anyway i am not showing any roles here okay that is the reason here we have to write a condition okay so at the rate if and i can get user context okay context dot user dot identity dot is authenticated okay i will use opposite condition means you user is not authenticated in that case i want to redirect to login page okay so if you want to redirect if the user is authenticated and user doesn't have the uh, authorization to this page in that case you can write another navigation logic if you want here in the else case okay so let's check now uh, if i access this page i must redirect to login page Okay, see it is automatically navigated to login page. Let me try again one more time. Fetch data route. Okay. See automatically we are redirecting back to login page. Okay. So we have successfully implemented the login redirection in our Blazor application. Here there is one more case. Okay. If user logged in, okay, let me log in first. some in value the user is successfully logged in if i try to access login page see after login also i am accessing login page if i try to access registration page after login also user is able to get the registration page which is not correct right so we have to add this condition also when user is already authenticated so in those cases what we have to do means these kind of pages will be very less right so we have to manually redirect them okay so let me go to my login page okay here to get the user information authenticated user information i can use one of the cascading property okay so cascading parameter that is public authentication sorry it is a task type okay authentication authentication state okay state okay like this we can get the cascading property 
so why we are, we are able to this cascading property means the app layer previously we have uh, rendering the cascading authentication state component right so it's going to input a property that is like this okay now let me add on initialized async method here okay so override on initialized async okay here it will be async and here we are we will check whether the user is already authenticated or not in that case we will navigate user again okay so await auth state okay dot user okay if user dot identity dot is authenticated means user is already authenticated in that case we can navigate to home page because in my case if i click on here home page is like a guest page non authenticated and authenticated users can access that page okay if you don't have something like this guest page you can directly navigate to your dashboard page okay so here i am going to navigate to my home page simply slash okay and here remove return and await it okay next same thing i am going to do for registration page as well okay so here let me add with a cascading property that is authentication state property so copy this add it here so here we have already implementing on initialized method okay now here on top i will check user authenticated or not okay copy this okay okay need to add a sync okay now remove this return okay await it now let's check and try to access either login or registration page so i am already authenticated user right so if i try to access login page login see automatically navigating back to home page if i try to access registration page see i am navigating back to registration page so we have successfully implemented route protection in our blazor webassembly application okay next we are going to implement user refresh token okay when jwt token expires how to retrieve it using the refresh token we will implement thank you so much for watching this video i hope this video delivered some useful content to you all if you like the video please do support by subscribing to the channel and also please don't forget to like and share the video soon we are going to meet with new content until then signing off